Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and I just got a package in the mail. This one is actually coming in from my friend Matthew, who you probably know from the Blue Curve podcast, and who is also now posting reviews on this channel. He sent me some Lego. I think I've talked about this before, maybe on a live stream, but we were planning to do a trade, and now we've finally done it. So let me just open it up and show you what's inside. Also, I'd like to point out that it says, I love you, Bricks by Mind, on the bottom of the box. Thanks, Matthew. Love you too, buddy. All right, let's open it up. All right, so you can see right there, I got two uh, two big old bags of Lego in there. I just take them out. So as you can see right in front of you, there is two huge bags of parts. What are these parts, you may wonder? Well, these are actually two Lego Ninjago movie sets. This is, I believe, Cole's mech, uh, Cole's Quake mech from the movie, and then Kai's fire mech from the movie. These are the only two Ninjago movie mechs I didn't have uh, when the original wave came out. I got the other four, but I just didn't have the budget to get these two at the time. Matthew, however, got all four, but didn't have space for them, so he ended up taking these two apart. So I had a set he wanted, he had these two. We decided to trade them so that I could have the sets I wanted, and he could have a set he wanted a little bit more than these. Real quick, I'm just going to open up the uh, fire mech bags. It looks like the minifigures are in here, and I want to see those guys up close. Here's this one from Kai's Fire Mech. She has an incredible face print. That's such a good face print. I'm really happy to have that figure. Same with this guy. Great expression on that side. And an even better one on the other side. That's like a really useful facial expression to have. Here's Fred Finley from the Cole Mech. I've won this figure for a while because his face works somewhat well for Cole's father, Lou. But also Fred Finley is just a character in Ninjago now. So I'm happy to finally have that figure because he actually does exist in the show universe. Then here's Lady Iron Dragon. She looks terrible. The face print is so awful. Like I know it was bad, but having it in person, wow, I didn't realize it was this bad. Um, I'm happy to finally have the character, though. That is really nice. Uh... Yeah, she, she's a really cool figure, aside from that face print, but I'm happy to finally have her in my collection, because she was, like, the one, like, main character in the Lego Ninja Dragon movie that I didn't have. And then finally, he sent me the yellow Infinity Stone from Marvel. It's the only Infinity Stone I was missing for my Infinity Gauntlet, so now I can have them all. But yeah, that was everything I got. Thank you very much, Matthew, for sending these to me. I greatly appreciate it. I'm very much looking forward to building these. I cannot wait to actually complete all six Ninja Dragon movie mechs, because the other four are some of my favorite sets ever, so I'm, I'm excited to finally get the other two. If you guys haven't been watching Matthew's reviews, you should. He is posting on this channel now. He's doing themes that I don't typically cover, such as Star Wars and Harry Potter. Those are themes I might cover on occasion, but I usually don't. So if you're interested in those types of themes, you can watch Matthew cover them on the channel. I also do the Woo Crew podcast with Matthew every week, so if you want to check that out, just stay tuned every Wednesday. But as for this video, I think that's about all i got to say. If you enjoyed, please press like and subscribe if you're new. I do Lego videos like this every single day, so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.